It's about how champion teachers get 100% of students to do what they ask 100% of the time. That may sound like a recipe for conflict, but when you watch champions at work, you'll see that it's all about finesse. First, like Colleen Driggs, champions use the least invasive form of intervention. The idea is to avoid breaking the thread of instruction. Colleen corrects with hand gestures, and that means the teaching goes on. If you've got one kid who's off task and you interrupt the task for everyone to fix it, you'll end up with three more kids off task. And when you stop to fix them, it will happen again. Minimally invasive correction helps avoid that death spiral. Champions like Bob Zimmerle are also careful about keeping correction private when possible. I need three people. You know who you are. I need two people. Even in a more explicit correction, Jamie Berlante focuses on describing the solution, not the problem. And she makes her correction an exercise in purpose. The problem is the student's not getting the answer right, not power. But like all 100% teachers, she's consistent about correcting every time she can. And then when I ask you a question, you didn't have the answer. That tells me you need to work harder if you're going to get the right answer. Your eyes should be on the speaker at all times. Even with all this finesse, you can't always keep your correction of an off-task student private. But champions limit the amount of time when corrected students are on stage with other eyes on them. Here, Bob manages to move the class's attention to something positive almost immediately after a public correction. I don't have Marissa, but I do have Jasmine. All of which gets you to the point where you can move your students from behave to believe to achieve. I can bring it to you, but I can't give it to you. You've got to reach for it. If they were free at Toys R Us, you'd reach, you'd step. I'm giving you the same kind of gift, just not wrapped up. Get the knowledge.